at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, January 18, 2023, why are investors suing Mullen Automotive? The Court of Chancery has scheduled a hearing for January 23. Mullen Automotive is the subject of two putative stockholder class action lawsuits. The stockholders allege that an amendment to increase authorized common stock should not have been enacted. Shares of Mullen stock are down by about 5% today. Last week, Mullen Automotive, Nasdaq MULN, released a Form 8K detailing legal matters that were initiated in December. These legal matters will affect the upcoming special meeting of stockholders on January 19. On December 7, a shareholder filed a putative class action lawsuit against the company, titled Robbins v. Mitchery, in Delaware's Court of Chancery. On December 13, another putative stockholder class action, titled Foley v. Mitchery, was filed against the company. Both lawsuits allege that the number of common stock issued and outstanding as of the annual meeting record date was 477.51 million. Based on this share count, and when considered separately as a class, the proposal to increase authorized shares at the 2022 annual meeting should not have been passed. The 2022 annual meeting occurred on July 26. Mullen receives two lawsuits. Mullen responded, explaining that it does not believe that the move to increase authorized shares was either invalid or ineffective. The electric vehicle company added. However, to resolve any uncertainty, the company is pursuing actions to ratify the 2022 certificate amendment through the filing of a validation proceeding with the Delaware Court of Chancery, the Court of Chancery, pursuant to Section 205 of the Delaware General Corporation Law, Section 205. Section 205 permits the Court of Chancery, in its discretion, to ratify and validate potentially defective acts. What that means is that the Court of Chancery is ultimately in charge of siding with Mullen or the class action filers. The Court has scheduled a hearing for January 23. In the case of Robbins v. Mitchery, the plaintiff also argues that Mullen sought to change its state of incorporation to Maryland to protect its board of directors from lawsuits. Mullen previously announced that it would no longer pursue a state of incorporation change to Maryland. The board noted that it may pursue this change again in the future when the time is right. As a result of the lawsuits, Mullen will no longer file the amendment to its Certificate of Incorporation. That means that it will no longer file Proposal No. 1 at its January 19 meeting, which seeks to enact a reverse stock split in a range between 1 for 2 and 1 for 25. It appears that Mullen will also not file for Proposal No. 2, which seeks to increase authorized common stock to 5 billion from 1.75 billion. These two proposals may be pursued in the future, which depends on the decision of the Court of Chancery. Mullen stock fans should closely watch Mullen's going concern warning. The EV startup printed its own reality check. Shares of again embattled EV maker Mullen Automotive slipped in the midweek session. The company's Form 10K disclosure emphasized risks continuing as a going concern. While Mullen stock started the new year auspiciously, it's now treading water. Aligning with another rough day on Wall Street, troubled electric vehicle manufacturer Mullen Automotive again courted volatility for the midweek session. Following a stratospheric performance to start the new year, Mullen stock began losing steam one week ago. However, management's warning about the ability to continue as a going concern weighed heavily on investors. Fittingly in a macabre sense, Mullen submitted its Form 10-K on Friday the 13th, revealing a number of risk factors. According to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, federal securities laws require publicly reporting domestic companies to file annual reports on the 10-K disclosure. This document provides a comprehensive overview of the company's business and financial condition and includes audited financial statements. Specifically for Mullen, management stated that its auditor, Daskal Bolton, expressed substantial doubt about the EV maker's ability to continue as a going concern. Further, the company acknowledged a history of losses and expect to incur significant expenses and continuing losses for the foreseeable future, thus adding more fuel to the going concern fire. Under the section risk factors from the Form 10-K, Mullen declared the following. 
our ability to continue as a going concern is dependent upon our ability to raise additional debt or equity financings or enter strategic partnerships. Since our inception, we have financed our operations through convertible debt and preferred stock financings. We intend to continue to finance our operations through debt or equity financing and or strategic partnerships. The failure to obtain sufficient financing or strategic partnerships could adversely affect our ability to achieve our business objectives and continue as a going concern. For the year, Mullen stock now finds itself down about 11%. Steep financial losses impose big risks for Mullen stock. To clarify, the auditor's opinion about Mullen's going concern risk factors represents an unqualified opinion. Per Investopedia, such an assessment signifies an independent auditor's judgment that a company's financial statements are fairly and appropriately presented, without any identified exceptions and aligned with generally accepted accounting principles. Therefore, no legal concerns exist regarding how Mullen divulged its financial status. Rather, the major issue for Mullen stock centers on what it did disclose. For the full year ended September 30, 2022, Mullen which posted no revenue spent $21.65 million on research and development and $75.3 million on general and administrative expenses, totaling a loss from operations of just under $97 million. This compares unfavorably to the year-ago loss of $22.4 million. Further down the statement, the net loss for the most recent fiscal year came out to $740.3 million. Again, this tally contrasted unfavorably with the year ago's net loss of $44.2 million. As Mullen's own Form 10K stated, it must raise cash, likely through additional debt or equity financings. Fundamentally, the core concern for stakeholders is dilution, posing major worries for Mullen stock. In the trailing year, shares fell around 92%. Why it matters? While Mullen stock occasionally receives dramatic spikes of upward momentum, the underlying problems present no surprising material. Back in May of last year, Investor Place contributor Dana Blankenhorn warned that Mullen lacks the cash to forward its polymer car battery or EV initiatives. Notably, since the time of publication of Blankenhorn's article to Wednesday afternoon, Mullen stock dropped 78% of its equity value. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.